Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my garden in Zootessia and oh my goodness! I don't know about you guys but I am totally exhausted from all of the adventures and the tours and all of the like chaos that's been going on. In the past week we have welcome talk to the server, we have toured with Nirene, Anasia, and Mara, we have gone on an adventure to the catacombs with Ben, and we have ended up- oh there goes a cow, okay cow's good. And we have ended up going on another huge Saturday specimen or Saturday adventure special. There we go. Saturday special with Huck and Ben. And oh my goodness, basically, I am so worn out and I'm so glad to be home, puppies. All right, good. All right, I'm going to have Pine and Lily follow us today, actually. But I am so worn out. And I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to take the goods that we have gathered for our wonderful hummingbird and chameleon exhibit and actually go down there and take care of our hummingbirds and chameleons, Lily girl. And we also need to count how many chameleons we have because we need to give them names. In fact, I wonder, Lily girl, do you think we can make some name tags real quick? Let's go try to make some name tags really quickly. And the mystery of the ghost, by the way, was solved. It was Primrose. So it was indeed Primrose, and she was stuck in the chair, but her actions were still following us as we walked around. So we did figure out that that was Primrose, and the really creepy little um, little footsteps following us, and putting down of all of that. Oh, hi guys, and putting down of all of the torches. Thankfully, it was just her. It wasn't anything spookier than that. Whoops! I think I forgot. I forgot the string, Lily. I forgot the string. Also, it's good to hear Pigman Fern nice and happy down in the nether, or, or another research room again. Nightlock really needs to get off of walking on all of those essence berries. Oh, Primrose, she's so cute. She's just giggling behind us. All right, here is some Spanish moss. And I kind of sworn I had a bunch of string just a second ago, and I just threw it in here. Aha, see? I knew I had a bunch of string. There we go. So now let's go downstairs. And we're going to come up with some names for our chameleons really quickly. And some of you guys have recommended the names of artists. And I thought that was really clever. All right, right here. <gasps> we did it! Okay, I think we have four chameleons so far. So let's make four name tags. And I'm going to leave this behind. Let's leave behind enough to make another six name tags. In fact, we should probably just make them right now. And like put them... Oops, all right. And put them into our inventory. And we got our Bird of Paradise back, by the way. Primrose had it in her inventory. So I'm really glad we got it back. All right, and we'll take the Spanish moss, or at least, all right, I'm gonna put three, of, three or four over here. Gonna leave the string over here. And we'll have to get more paper at some point in the future. But we're gonna come over here, and one, two, three, four. We're gonna name some chameleon. So the number one highly requested name from everybody is of course Pascal from tw or Tom, Tom <laughs> from from Tangled. There we go. I had my T's mixed up for a second, but Pascal. So we're gonna have a chameleon named Pascal, and then another person said that we should try naming one after like um, other artists like Picasso. So I thought that sounded really good, and so we have pa Pascal and Picasso. We probably don't want to stick with all P names or else people will get confused. So let's go with Van Gogh. I hope that's spelled correctly. If not, I will fix it in the future. And then, can I think of any famous female artist off the top of my head? Not like with traditional painting or abstract painting. I actually really can't. I'm not very good with the traditional arts, unfortunately. So I can't think of any off the immediate top of my head. What about art style? Let's see. Uh, pointillism, abstract. Oh man, it feels like high school art class all over again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even though both my, my mom and my grandma are artists, it's not like we learned a lot of the theory. Well, dang it. So we have a little, we have a little mystery female that we have to name. So I'm actually going to hold off on that. So more artist names that we could use to name our chameleons with guys. And we'll save the last name for someone else. So I'm going to put that away. And we'll put these up here. I may have spelled the names wrong. I'll fix them later if I did. And actually, to do, let's try list checklist checklist. Uh, huh, interesting. List. 
No, I know we have a checklist because I have one. I have like a oh, it's called a clipboard. There we go. So now there's um, the clipboards, and then I think there's now holders from Bibliocraft to hold the clipboard on the wall, which would be really cool. So I'm trying to think, what would those be called? Because I want to hang a clipboard up outside of the chameleon exhibit so people can try to find. See, we've got all these little labels. So people can try to find all of the chameleons, and then they can just like tick it off when they have them. Is it this? Look at that. There's some new panelers. There's lots and lots of new stuff. We added a update recently of the Bibliocraft mod and it's amazing. I don't think it's a framing board or a framing sheet. I might have to ask Ben what he used because it's this really interesting thing and you can just like set the clipboard in it and then you can just clip like, let's see, is it this? It can't be this. Nah, it's not that. All right, that's just the like clipboard name. All right, so we'll have to, we'll wait on the clipboard for now, because I would just want to work on decorating the exhibit today and naming the chameleons so we can figure out how many chameleons we have. Oh, and I guess the hummingbird feeders. Well, we'll make the hummingbird feeders in a little bit. Sunflower, it's tempting. I almost jumped on your back to take you, but I told the doggies they could come today, so I'm going to let the dogs come. And while we're down here, hi guys, good teleporting. While we're down here, I'm actually going to harvest these mushroom gardens. I think Pine just got one. So we can give those mushroom gardens to our friends in the future as a little gift. And while we're down here, I actually desperately need to collect a few more supplies. Sorry guys, because you saw how we're almost out of paper. Oh my gosh, it's, a, it's the carrot bun! The carrot bun was defending his territory and just jumped in my face. That was a little alarming. All right. Oh, I love how the sugar cane gets so bright over here. It's just so much fun watching it as it changes different biomes. Pine, are you still in my sugar cane? Pine, I feel like you may have stolen some of my sugar cane. Let's see. I think I accidentally... There we go. Knocked one down, and then I need my little clippers. Do, 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 do. Climbing under the trees. There is carrot bun. Jumping where a carrot bun goes, looking for carrot fish. What are you doing, carrot bun? All right, let's gather these up. Hey, 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 hey. That's right, puppies. Mom needs these. And I'm going to hang a few over by where the hummingbird exhibit is because we need string all the time. And so it's just useful to have that string, the, the moss, Spanish moss growing everywhere. All right, now to run over across the jade bridge. It's made out of granite, but someone said, hey, we really should call it like the jade bridge because it has to do more with uh, the Asian forest exhibits. And I totally think that's a good idea. And I actually think we might try to find some jade and like put it as the centerpiece to the arches that we have um, planned for the bridge. So those are some ideas there. Oh, it feels so good to have a path, you guys. A clear, a clear path to walk. It's so nice. There's fluffy mittens looking for carrot fish. Oh my gosh, it's another carrot fish sort of day. Oh my goodness. All right, and we're gonna come this way. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. And we're back over here with quiet hummingbirds now. I made them quiet so that that way we can get a little bit of work done without them making too much noise in our ears. So this will be fun. Oh, look at the little hummingbird. Oh, they're precious. All right, guess what? You are the lucky Pascal. Oh, oh, I can't name him. I can't name him. Chameleon, you defy me. <laughs> I can't name him. How am I gonna name him? You. Shift clicking isn't work. Dang it. Come on, chameleon. Come on, buddy. No. What am I going to do? How am I going to name you? Putting you inside a safari net just names the safari net. <sighs> Look at him. He's like, na 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 na. All right. Well, fine. We can't name him. Look at all the little hummingbirds. We have a maggot. So two. I have found two little chameleons so far. Let's see if we can find any more, because I'm pretty sure I've put in at least three. There's a bunch of hummingbirds. I need to make the area very comfy for the chameleons and the hummingbirds. All right, whoops, ouch. Okay, sorry guys. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, so I don't think the chameleons actually like despawn, so it's not terribly important. But I could have sworn I had more than two. And the thing about naming them, Oh, there we go, there we go. I found four, that's so fun. So we have one, two, three, and then four back here. Yeah, one, 
two. Oh, how fun! What a fun little thing for people. Three to try to find, and four. Yay! Okay, so we found all the chameleons, and they are A-OK. -okay. And I can nibble my vegetarian lettuce wrap in contentment, because our chameleons are doing all right. All right. So now what we're going to do, since I can't name the chameleons, ah, uh, well, that was a, it was a good idea. But we just don't have the ability to name them, because they won't right-click. They won't right-click. Now we're going to try to get the area a little bit more prepared for the chameleons. And we're going to do that by putting some moss down. Now the chameleons are reptiles. Oh my gosh, Lily or Pine, you just about scared the badoodles out of me right there. Oh dear, do I have food for you? Yes, I do have some zombie jerky. Oh my gosh, Lily! Holy days! Here, sit! <laughs> I don't need, I don't need, like, dogs raining from the sky, please. There we go. Pine, you go ahead and sit too. The chameleon is nice and brown color. I love that. But we are going to try to make this exhibit a little bit more humid for our chameleons because chameleons really benefit from having a lot of humidity depending on the species. Be okay, little guys. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually take the ivy. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. Apparently they like it over here. So I'm actually going to take the ivy off of here. Watch out, guys. And we'll replace the ivy on this tree with moss instead. There we go. And let the moss grow down. And moss is really good at retaining humidity. And since reptiles um, have very dry skin often, because we're, we're talking about a huge group of animals, but often with chameleons you want to keep a lot of humidity in the, in the air, which means more moisture in the water. And the moss, which, can I put some moss down here? No, what about right there? Yeah. And the moss can really help with that because it will keep things from drying out too quickly. Moss sort of retains water. I actually use moss to keep my Crested Gecko's humidity levels pretty happy. <gasps> he's mushroom colored! Look at him! He's mushroom and wood colored! Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Look at him. He's being a little mushroom colored chameleon. Oh my goodness. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best in the whole world back. Yep, I want a nice picture of that. Mm-hmm. No, 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 get back on, get back, get da, 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 da. Mushroom colored chameleon, oh, that was fantastic. That was 100%, you are the best, you little guy. Does that mean he's gonna change colors with the flowers we put down? <gasps> we have to experiment with this. Okay, let's get some flowers. So, I did bring some philodendrian as well to kind of add to that like holding in the humidity and the moisture sort of feeling. I don't really want to put any water sources in here because I'm really worried if we add any water sources it might uh, cause them to like drown even if we put lily pads over it. Hello little guy, hi there. So oh and look at him, look at him hanging out with pine. So I'm not gonna add any water sources for the chameleons and actually the chameleons, the veiled chameleons at least, that we took care of back when I worked in a pet store, usually would only drink from the mist. We had a mister that would deliver water into the chameleon exhibit and the chameleons would kind of lick the water off of the leaves. They didn't go over to a bowl, they don't drink out of bowls, they don't really drink from running water. They more drink the mist and the dew that collects on leaves. So hopefully We'll have lots of leaves and lots of moss to help that happen. So let's put some philodendrians down. Let's get started over here. Gonna take out the the normal looking grass. Do you want to? Do you want to turn? Do you want to turn purple? <gasps> He's turning purple! He's turning purple! <gasps> I'm so in love right now. Oh my gosh! He turned purple like the the mushroom. I am. So so happy. Hello! I'm happy about you too. In fact, I have some presents for the hummingbirds as well. I have brought some Panama Queens, which I felt, ta-da, kind of look like they have a little bit of a tube shape, at least here. I've never seen a Panama Queen in real life, and I know that all of Tim Pack Tim Bits uh, plant mega pack plants are based off of real plants. So I'm gonna have to look that up and figure out what a Panama Queen looks like. Buddy, do you want to look like a Panama Queen? You can look like a Panama Queen. Let me put this down here. Put this over here. Have to put a, like push a chameleon gently onto one and see what happens. All right, let me see. Do I have any? I've got some sugar, but no. Ah, there we go. I can get bone meal by taking this bone, turning it into bone meal. And I want to bone meal a few of these. Hello, little guy. A few of the ferns, because those tall ferns are actually really nice for this kind of exhibit. All right, and philodendron, do you want to propagate for me? No, that's okay. 
It would have been really helpful, but I'm okay with that. There we go. Oh, I think he did. Oh, that one did. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Whoops. Sorry, little chameleon. I did not mean to startle you. Would you like a, a philodendrian? You can have a philodendrian. All right. Put you there. Put you there. And see, over here enters kind of a new biome. So I kind of wanted to do different plants over in this area. Maybe some more dry land sort of plants. Drier territory plants. Hello, little guy. You're all dirt colored now. And philodendrian. And then let's see what other plants we have. I really need to start a philodendrian farm somehow. So the shell flowers would be kind of nice. Um, let's see. I need more moss too. I kind of want to collect a bit more moss pine. You let mom have this moss. Oh, I got it. Yes. I needed that. All right. And we'll kind of put moss so it'll grow on all the surfaces that it can. Can it grow on the stone? I'll have to wait till... Oh, this, this spot grew quite a bit. Hello! Hello, little guys! See, they're hanging out with the moss. They know where their, their nice, moist, chameleon lickable areas are. All right, and let's come over here. Can I put... <gasps> yes! We can put moss against the stone. That's going to be really helpful. We need to, like, put up signs, too. Please do not step on chameleons, because they're kind of everywhere. All right, shellflower? I don't know about that. The shellflowers just aren't the prettiest, so they're more a plant that I'm fine with putting, like, in the background. Or to make, like, a height impression. Like, maybe right there. And maybe, like, another one right there. All right, and Panama Queens. Are you... Will you propagate for me? Lily? Lily, I know you love flowers, but that was for the hummingbirds. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness I did bring uh, a little plank. Lily girl. Lily girl. You have three of them, Lily. I love you. There we go. All right. And now I feel better. Pine. He has three too. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. All right. I just feel like these uh, honey splurges. Is that what they are? No, they're with Panama Queens. I keep thinking of another plant I want to put down for. Oh, hey, maggot. We need to get more maggots. There's another plant that I want to put down that is called the Honey Splurge. I need to find more of those. And it seems like if you let the Panama Queens full grow, they drop quite a lot of the other plants at one time. All right. Philodendrian. Philodendrian. Nope. Philodendrian? Nope. All right. You really have to wait for them to grow, it seems. You just have better, better odds. All right. So anything else we can add in this guy? And hummingbirds. And there's kangaroo ferns. Now, ferns are another one of those, like, very high humidity, like a lot of moisture plants. So where you see a lot of ferns, you can usually guess that there's a lot of good moisture in the air. That it's a pretty humid area, lots of rainfall. So that's why we're putting down so many ferns. We really need more plants, but, you know, this is okay for, for starters. All right. And then let's go ahead and add a pretty little flower right there. Watch your step, Mr. Chameleon. I don't have a vet yet, so I don't have, like health potions I can buy and just throw at the animals if they fall off of things. We really need to do that. That is going to be on the list. Oh yeah, and I brought the giant red flowers. I totally forgot about that to try to rebuild where we found some of the chameleons. I'm not sure if I want to build it in here though. I'm going to be honest. I kind of do. I kind of don't. Let's get bat pick out. So if we change our mind, we can just take it back down. All right. So what if I put it kind of back here? Careful, Mr. Chameleon. Like, there's a bunch of chameleons over here. So what if I kind of built him right here? And we crawl through the leaves up here. Hello, beautiful stem. And then we just kind of, like, make a flower. So, actually, you know, I'm not totally opposed to this. Because it, it would just be like a sampling. Are you headed straight for it? Oh, almost. Here, go this way. Go this way a little bit. No. Ah, he's so pretty. I love watching him change colors. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's kind of like a big giant tulip. It's a little bit boring. <laughs> Actually, the hummingbirds seem to really enjoy it. All right, what if I did this? Then that's just kind of weird. All right, how about... Whoops, hello there. Let's take you down gently. So there's that. Um, 
What about this? No. What about this? No. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have a chameleon going on him? I want to see him change colors. <gasps> he's on him! But he's still... He's still... Oh, 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 oh. Wait for it. Okay. <gasps> Look at him! Oh, that's precious. Okay, that's totally worth... Um totally worth leaving them here. Oh, look, you can see two chameleons in the shot. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, we'll leave it there because it's so much fun to watch the chameleons climb up, and I think the hummingbirds would probably appreciate it. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll build another one right here. Hello, buddy. You're about to have a huge flower right in the center of your little, your little nectar gathering eating area. Oh, there's a happy hummingbird. They're like, oh yeah. And hummingbirds also love these colors. They love the, the bright red. Hey, the hummingbird, I think the hummingbird just like ate part of my flower. That was kind of hilarious. All right, let's try this. So let's do it. Oh, hello, buddy. Yeah, I would say this is pretty popular with our uh, hummingbird crew, if you ask me. Okay, gonna grab this one. Whoops, and then let's grab these two. All right, and then uh, go down here. I might want to put a glowstone centerpiece in there. Oh, that's much better. I like that. I like that. That's what we'll do. So we'll just put this here and whoops. Hello. No, Mr. Shell Flower. You cannot have that. I right, put that there. And whoops. All right, we have to climb through. Climb under the leaves. Oh, I love hearing that. Oh, there he is. There's the parrot. We really should get more of the mo, mo creatures parrots that can just kind of fly around in here too. That's very fun. So I'll put you there and put you there. And then we're going to take out these guys. One, two, three. And down we go. There! That's really nice, actually. You know, I really wasn't sure about putting the giant flowers in, but that actually worked out really well for in here. And we can have a little sign, be like, these specimens collected from Alex's swamp area, like Alex's garden. And we can let people know that red is the color that hummingbirds tend to be most attracted to. And that it's, you know, hopefully they've got lots of nectar in there. In fact, you guys, what would be really fun, instead of a glowstone piece, what if we went and we got a honey block? What if we found like a honey block or a honeycomb from somewhere? Okay, so we can make a filled honeycomb block by gathering up filled honeycombs. So what if we did that instead and put that inside the flowers? Oh my goodness, I knocked down a something something. I don't know what it was, but I knocked it down. I think it was a fern, darn it. But what if we did that over here instead and we put a little like honey block in the center of the flowers? I like that idea. We're going to do that. Hello. Oh, he's turned in the color of philodendrons. I'm really happy with that. Look at the hummingbirds. They're, they're happy too. So I think this is a really good start. I am pretty surprised that, let's see, nobody in there. I need to put all these away. Anything else? No, I think we're good. A little bit surprised that we weren't able to name the chameleons, so that sucks. But we'll just say there's four chameleons in here. Can you find them all and see what people do? We need to go back up top and we need to see if we can gather up some more plants. And actually, this kind of area makes me think it would behoove us to have a garden somewhere nearby where we just grow philodendrons, maybe a handful of ferns, and we use it as our farming area to like gather up a whole bunch of philodendron when we need them. Um, or maybe put in a word that pretty much because we're working in the Asian forest area right now, any philodendron people can spare, we're willing to trade resources for it because that's always fun. And also any, maybe any of the green mo creature birds. And yeah, four chameleons I feel like is pretty good for now. We might up it to six, but four is a good number for now. And I think we will work on trying to make the hummingbird feeders next and getting more moss. So that's gonna be a fun project for tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. So remember everybody, stay curious. Bye-bye.